Hey everyone, it's Mythic J with another video. I'm Jay from Mythic J, and today I am gonna do something a little bit different. It's a collab type story time video. Now, what do I mean by that? Uh... So, uh, yeah, it's a little weird, but I am doing a thing where it's a collab type story time with none other than Player Gamer 2.0. He is awesome. We both love tech, and we were kind of exploring it earlier in the form of emulators. Oh my god, emulators? Oh no, oh no! So specifically, we were trying to run emulators on our Windows 11 PCs. So I was trying to run Android 4.0, put that on the screen right now, Android 4.0 operating system, because I love that operating system. It is absolutely amazing. I have so many memories with it, and I think I thought it would be cool to play around with it on my computer in the form of an emulator. Though, the process was not that simple. Because, well, we're gonna explain that today in today's video. Also, Player Gamer 2.0, like I said, he will go over his whole experience with it because he tried installing a Windows 10 emulator. So, uh, yeah. Without further ado, let's get into the boogaloo. As he was saying, basically. So now, due to the fact of trying to get emulations on your system, with Windows 10, it was much easier due to the fact it's not as hard because it's mostly supported on all systems. Uh, but also, the second part is the problem with the fact that you need a proper CPU. The second problem is, it takes up 50 gigabytes of storage. How did we do this? We did this through a virtual machine. Which, if you don't know what that is, well, to be fair, I don't know what it is either. It's basically a file on your computer. You do a bit of this, and you do a bit of that, and, and virtual machine. So what we had to do is get the ISO files, and uh, we also had to find like an emulator thing. So, I guess, that supports it, so then we can run it through that. And we used Oracle VirtualBox, and it was a... It was insane, let me just tell you that right now. It was not very pleasant, to be real with you. Why was it not pleasant, you may be asking? Well, CPU issues, trying to, you know, do the thing with the ISO files, trying to figure out all this stuff, and you, you, you gotta be do this, and you gotta do with that. You gotta do with this, and you gotta do with that. You gotta do with this. Not to mention, we have to get the ISO files, and usually, they take a bit, they take a little while, so it can be a bit tedious. For those who don't know, an ISO file is basically a file of an operating system. ISO. Come on, man. Speaking of ISO files, now let's move on to virtual machines. So, when you try to start the machine, you have to choose memory, which Windows requires at least 2 gigabytes, or 4, depending for better processing reasons. Then you have to choose the storage, which is 50 gigabytes by default, which is ridiculous. Oh, and mind you, by the way, the ISO file takes 8 gigabytes of storage, which is plenty full, but you just gotta get ready for some storage or get an SSD or something. Or get a flash drive. Or here's a better idea, just at this point, get a regular device that runs the operating system you want. And we also ran into another issue. The versions. I had Android, which I guess is classified as other slash unknown in VirtualBox. And this was already a problem because it wouldn't run. I had the ISO file and it wouldn't run. And it had something to do with the processor not being supported. And it's funny because it said 86 64-bit processor or something. And here's the thing. My computer is 64-bit! Come on, man! My friend, on the other hand, Player Gamer 2.0, his was successful because it's Microsoft and it's Windows 10 and it's not very old. After all, Windows 11 came out, like, uh, in October 2021, I'm pretty sure. And, you know, it makes, you know, it, it works with each other. But with uh, Android, especially an older version of Android, it's Google, and it's Microsoft, it doesn't really go very well. Google and Android. The problem with these OSs is that it's probably due to older hardware, but how come that a new PC 
PC and an older Android 4 can't compute with them, like work together. Like come on, the Android is older than that computer. Understand that that is just weird. And plus why would a tablet have an eighty six an X eighty six processor in it? So, what ended up happening in the end? Well, for me, I had to end up uninstalling VirtualBox and getting rid of the ISO file for Android 4.0. Also, this is a little bit annoying, but... <sighs> First of all, it wouldn't delete. Like, the ISO file wouldn't delete. It said it was being opened in system. What system? The file explorer. The only thing that was opened was the file explorer. And that is it. So, I had to restart my PC. And it took forever to go on the please wait. It just got stuck on the please wait screen. I turned it off again. Restarted it for the second time. And then, and then I could finally delete it. It was like around 300 something, 400 something uh, thousand kilobytes of storage. Do you see why I'm frustrated here? I'm trying to keep my PC to be optimal. And then this Android phone- oh, No. I I'm not gonna download. No. By the way, I also have a lot of old devices that run Android 4. I don't know why I did this, honestly. Probably because I can have an easier version, so I won't have to, like, grab the tablet out of my closet. My dusty old closet, might I add. Plug in the charger, and then wait for it to boot up. And those devices are very buggy, so I thought I had a more efficient version. I thought that'd be nice, but no. And here's the thing. I have Windows 95 in emulator on my PC. In w way older, from 1995. And this. This can't even run. And this is from like 2011, 2012. <laughs> what? How? How? Yeah, that was quite an experience. Player Gamer 2.0, like I said, his ended up working, but he had to uninstall it because it took up a lot of storage and he did not want to waste his storage. Anyways, that is pretty much it for this video. I'm Mythic J, and Player Gamer 2.0 is a person. Do you want to say something before we go? I'll take that as a no. Goodbye, and I'll see you in the next video.